Hey guys, today we're gonna do my January favorites. There has been a ton of products that I have been loving this month and it was hard to narrow it down, but I managed to do so and I just wanted to share the ones that I have been really, really loving with you. So let's jump right into it. There have been three not one, not two, but three cheek products that I've been obsessed with this past month. The first one is by MAC and it's called Well Dressed. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this. It is just a really beautiful pink, like a light pink blush. I feel like it has actually a little bit of a lavender undertone in it as well. And it just gives you that beautiful lit from within glow. If you have a medium skin tone like me, apply a little more than you think you need because it doesn't show up very easily with just a swipe or two. You need to add a little bit more. Definitely one of my favorite products for the month. I've also been loving this highlighter by NARS in Albatross. It is a gorgeous light gold highlight. And I tend to go a little crazy in the winter with my highlights because I have so much of a natural glow in the summertime <clears throat> oil that I like to play it up with actual product highlights in the winter. So this one is absolutely beautiful. I love putting it on my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. It looks fantastic in real life and in photos. I have also been loving this cream blush by Mascara and it is in the color Shortcake. It is a really pretty bright pink. You only need a couple little dots on your cheeks right here and then I dab it in with my fingers just using two fingers to kind of pat it in and it gives the most natural glow to your skin. Um, I feel like cream blushes are have a little bit more of a natural finish to them than some powder blushes do. Um, because it really just kind of melts into whatever you have underneath it, whether it be a foundation or a tinted moisturizer, and just ends up looking very, very natural. I think that this color would work well on a bunch of different skin tones. Just remember, a little bit goes a long way. Sticking with uh, face products, I wanted to talk about how much I'm loving my Josie Moran Tinted Moisturizer. I have never, ever, and I mean ever, been a tinted moisturizer girl because, like you well know by now, my skin tends to be more on the oily side. However, I was getting really sick of having to wear a foundation on a daily basis because let's be honest, sometimes you just don't feel like caking on makeup every single day. I wanted something that was lighter, but I also really needed the coverage because I have some marks on my chin from past um, acne scars or some active blemishes. I just needed something to cover my skin so I could still feel confident enough to go out. You know, I can't do anything completely sheer. It's just not for me. I know you think this is all just perfection, but girl, it's not. So the Josie Moran Tinted Moisturizer definitely has pretty good coverage. It is described as medium coverage, and I would agree with that. And it is buildable. It doesn't provide as much coverage as a foundation, but it definitely isn't as sheer as some BB creams or other tinted moisturizers that I've tried in the past. Another bonus is that it has argan oil in it, so it is extremely hydrating, but without making you look shiny or greasy. I obviously set this with powder because I set every liquid product that I put on my face with powder, but it holds up almost all day and um, really just looks very natural and very glowy and pretty. And I never thought I would be a tinted moisturizer girl, but Josie Moran, you have changed my mind, so thank you for that. This next product is a little bit more of a luxury item and I would never have gotten to Sephora and purchased this on my own, but back, I think it was in December or January when they had sent out those gift cards for VIBs, I got a $20 off coupon, so I was like, I am gonna use the crap out of this thing. So I went for it and I got the Guerlain Terracotta Spray, and this is a bronzer. And it is a little bit tricky to work with. You can just, it's an aerosol can, you shake it up, then you open it up and you have to just spray it onto your face. So if you guys have ever used the um, Dior Air Flash foundation, it's kind of the same concept except it's a bronzer. So you have to be careful because I tend to, I try to only apply it like where I would apply bronzer. So I would do it in like the hollows of my cheeks to contour and then a little bit on the top of my forehead and a little bit at my jawline. So it takes a little bit of practice and I try not to use it too often because it is such a nice product and it was expensive. I think originally this retails for about like 60 to $62. I'll put the exact price below, but again, I had my gift card, so I thought I would just go for it, and it really is a beautiful product. Once you get the um, application technique down, it gives the most lovely natural tan. Also something to keep in mind is the one I have is called Light, but it is not light. I mean, it is pretty tan and pretty pigmented, so if you are like looking at this product online and you see it comes in, I think it's like light and medium. The medium is dark, 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 so just be careful. The next product I am going to mention as one of my favorites, I actually just did a whole blog post on because that's how obsessed I am with it. It is the Full of Grace Serum by Lush, and I know what you're thinking, what do you mean serum, this is a solid? 
but it is a serum. It actually just melts right into your skin. You can either warm it up in between your fingers and then apply it, or you can just take it um, and apply it straight to your face, which is usually what I do at night. It is meant to just help reduce redness and any um, irritation or blemishes, and it smells amazing. It works amazing. When I tell you it has literally changed the texture of my skin overnight, I'm not kidding. It makes my skin glow and look so much smoother and nicer in the morning and I am so obsessed with it. If you want to read my full review on it, I will link the blog post below where I tell you everything about it. So go check that out. I have been loving MAC Lip Liner in Shock Value. It is a hot pink color and this looks amazing under Candy Yum Yum. I um, don't wear a ton of lip liners, but when it comes to really bold lips, I try to always line my lips because I want the color to last and I don't want it to feather. And this lip liner actually goes on really smooth and really creamy. I highly recommend Shock Value if you're looking for a hot pink lip liner. My last favorite for the month of January has been these Ardell Individual Lashes. Now, I love wearing false lashes, but sometimes I don't feel like wearing a full strip lash because they definitely don't always look as natural as I would want them to. And the individuals are really great because you can just place them wherever you want and they are really easy to apply. You just kind of pop them on and go. Lately, this has been my uh, look of choice when I want a little added drama, but nothing too, too much. So I've just been using a few on the outer edges of my regular lashes and it just looks really pretty. It gives a little extra flare and um, looks really pretty in pictures too. Like when you look down, you're like, hey. Hey, you like my lashes? So that wraps up my January beauty favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know below what products you have been loving this month and make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.